sometimes uh, it is a lawyer saying that it's only the children who cry that actually get fed by their mothers. If you, if you don't cry, your mother assumes that you are okay. Mr. Speaker, there is a very serious trend. Actually, uh, for me also, and I want to share this experience with the House as SG of ODM, we have seen systematic uh, reduction in allocation to political parties, for instance. And not to delve into the matter, we have been so frustrated as leaders of political parties by the year-on-year -year reduction on the allocation to the political parties fund that we've been forced to go to court. Maybe even for us as a Senate, we need to now take this matter to the courts so that uh, uh, the country can know that, in fact, there is a problem here. I don't know how much success we will have there because I'm also aware that the judiciary is also crying about their resources that have been allocated in the budget not being released to them. But somehow, one arm of government is not complaining. And that is why when Senator Osotsi was saying the executive, the executive does not refer to a political party. It refers to an arm of government. Somehow, Mr. Speaker, the members of the executive are living large. Just today, uh, I saw a cabinet secretary wearing four million shillings watch on his wrist. I was like, I, Mr. Speaker, how is it possible in this economy? So, Mr. Speaker, I want to say this, that if indeed, if indeed the, the exchequer is going to be fair in releasing monies to the three arms of government, we need transparency in that office. Not in my office, Senator Gloria. The transparency needs to be in the office of a person who receives resources on behalf of all the arms of government and decides that this is a priority, this ministry is a priority, but this, uh, uh, the Senate is not a priority. So I would want to join my colleagues in saying, in fact, for me, you don't need to convince me, as you know me, Mr. Mandamano, I can bring a Sufuria here if I'm allowed, Mr. Speaker, so that we can shine the light on this particular issue so that the country knows that the Senate is being mistreated. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Chute. Santi sana, Honorable Speaker. Kwa nafasi hii, nimbe, ningependa kuungana na wenzangu eh, kwa ile shida Senate ikonayo. Mshumwa Speaker, mii nimetoka Marsabit County. Umesikia juzi Senator Lomanen wa Turkana. Akisema sisi tukienda recess saa hii, tunaenda huko wa tusikizi recess, tunasikia sauti ya bunduki ikipigwa kila mahali. Mwaleba speaker, Marsabit County imekua flooded. Hata watu wameshindwa kufika mahali chakula hiko, center chakula hiko. Saizi inasaidiwa na helikopter, na helikopter, eh, eh, serikali ya hii na helikopter ya kutosha, tuko na shida kama hiyo. Mwaleba speaker, wale watu wanafanya kazi kwa maofisi zetu, hawawezi kupata chakula sasa kwa sababu wengine wako centers ambayo haongeweza kufika na wale watu wangesaidia hawa na chakula ambayo wanaishi katika vijiji hawawezi kupata hiyo pesa kwa sababu pesa ambayo ingefaa kwa office operations paka saa hii hatujapata Mheshimiwa speaker kila mahali ukiangalia vile distance ni mbali kutoka Nairobi gharama ya vitu ni nyingi sana Shida ni nyingi sana, masomo kwa watu ni chini, chakula ni shida kupata. Kama ukisikia mtu wako na rubi, anaumia mara kumi isi, tunaumia mara miyamoja. Kwa sababu ya shida ya vile tunasafiri, shida ya e, bunduki na lia risasi, kiangazi ikikuja inakuwa extreme, mvua ikikuja inakuwa extreme, flood inakuja, bunduki ndio hiyo. Kwa hivyo, uh, honorable speaker, watu wakienda recess kesho, mimi sijui kama nitaenda Marsabit. Kwa sababu nikienda huko watu ile family 